What's up, this is Naivo. I did a amp shootout for the DT880 600 ohm from Bayer Dynamic. Um, here's my quick thoughts. Starting off with the DAC amps, we have the RME ADI 2FS, the Zen DAC, I own X1S, and the interfaces are Behringer UM2 and the Motu M4. Um, so right away, these two weren't good enough. The interfaces, um, the headphone outputs on these are just not powerful enough. This one has too much hiss after 1.30. Uh, this just, yeah, it doesn't get loud enough. It's just no good. Um, the Zen DAC actually sounds okay at full blast volume, but it definitely is lacking some power. But it's just an okay option. Uh, in my opinion, not good enough. The RME ADI2 DAC FS, um, I actually did like it. it. I think it was a good pairing, um, but nothing, nothing special really. It staged decently. Um, nice dark background, and it had good dynamics. Um, with the bass, could have used some extra juice, I would say. So it's not not perfect, but a decent option. The own X1S, the treble, uh, I didn't like the treble, it gave me a headache, and around here is where um, the treble started like really being noticeably bad, and I needed it to be here for the bass to kick in, and um, it just never really fully kicked in, so... I can't really recommend this, even though it did get fairly loud. It just didn't have the right balance for me of um, treble to bass. And I don't think it's something that EQ would really fix in this case, because there's something there was something off with the treble, and it just didn't feel right. Normally I don't get headaches when I listen to music, but this made me do it. Um, so moving on to the amplifiers, we'll start with the tube amps. Get the do-it-yourself bottlehead crack, and this had the nice, a really nice, rich sound, um, not only in the foreground, but also in the background. Everything sounded really rich and nice. Um, the bass was faltering a little bit, so you can tell it was a little bit underpowered for the 600 ohm. Uh, and I don't think I'd really recommend it for this, but the Valhalla 2 did better than I expected. Um, I could actually recommend the Valhalla 2. It does seem to pair well, and uh, it doesn't usually pair well with a lot of things. So um, that's one thing to keep note of is if you're going to have multiple headphones, this might not be the one. But if this is for this headphone, it, it actually does work pretty well. The bass kind of it does have some um, a little bit of bass, but obviously it could be improved. And um, but it has a nice nice tone all, all around. Um, the SA-1 was also okay. Um, it had, um, it had, a, had I think, the most power of the bass so far of everything here, but the, the, the stage, there's almost no stage, and that's the thing that I always have a problem with on, on the SA-1. If you aren't you know if you don't have a lot of experience with stage you probably wouldn't notice the difference but uh, for me it it's a uh, annoying because I, I do like stage but everything else is actually pretty good on this one and I could recommend it I guess if you're just gonna have this headphone it doesn't pair well with a lot of things in my opinion it, um, and this is the modded version um, where there's jumpers inside of it um, it's a pretty easy to do the mod, by the way. So the Jotunheim 2, uh, the single ended on this is just not powerful enough. I, it didn't get as um, enough power for me. Same with the IHOS 6, the single ended is not that good. Um, which is surprising because on, on the balanced end, both of these are actually pretty powerful. But uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't enough to drive the 600 ohm in my opinion. So both of these fail. This one's okay. Um, this one's kind of good. 
fail, fail. Oh, the Zen can, I didn't think, I don't think we talked about it yet. This is like a, I think it's like a $200 amp. And the, um, if I have it on the full gain 16 dB and the volume up pretty high and I have X bass turned on, it actually does have some nice bass um, impact. However, um, like it'll have the initial hit of the bass, but it won't sustain the bass very long. You can tell the power kind of ties out as the a bass note holds. Um, but other than that, um, it's pretty good all around. I like the tonality and um, personally, but the uh, which is a slight bass elevation and compared to a lot of these other amps it's lacking some clarity but it is you know quite a bit cheaper so i do like this option i guess um it's a it's an okay option to get a decent sound uh, but yeah it's just not you can just tell it's a budget amp uh what else the hsa 1b uh this was a failure the single ended out on this is really bad. Um, it's like somewhere around this level of these failures. Like, I'm, I was kind of shocked because on the Aria, when I had the Aria plugged in, um, the stage was huge on this, so I, I was like, wow, this is a good amplifier, but the bass was weak on this. And, and this interface, which is for ribbon headphones, the um, SR1A, I think, uh, and you use this adapter and you plug in, you know, your balance connection. Um, it's actually really good. It has good stage, good bass, and just the detail is not quite there, but I'm not sure if that's the Aria or the, um, the amp itself, but it, it is a nice amp. Um, but the single end is really bad. And unfortunately this is only single ended. All right, so moving on to the Moon Audio 430HA. Um, the single ended is actually really good on this amp, and it's the only amp that I actually really liked. Um, the The bass was good. The it had nice sound separation. Staging was decent. Um, I'd say better than everything else here for staging, and just overall a pretty good sound. Um, it's the only one I actually liked. So, what are the final thoughts here? I guess, um, I'll say this is fine. This is the RME. This is okay, but I don't really recommend it. That's the SA1. This one I can recommend. Um, it's the Zen Can. Just for the at the price range, it's, you know, good enough to make the headphone sound all right. Um, Valhalla 2, I would recommend. Just know that the bass is going to be a little bit weak. And, um, but it actually is a decent, decent sound. I don't think I'll recommend the Bottlehead Crack for this one. Um, the Jotunheim 2, no. KNI Ha 6, no. Um, and 430HA, yeah, but it's a little bit expensive. So the real, the real, um, recommendation for me is if you have this headphone would be to do the balance mod and switch this out to, um, you know, balance cable so you can take advantage of the XLR, um, outputs, which are much more powerful than the single ended and if I went that route, I'm guessing that the Yacht 2 would be the one that I would recommend just from experience with other headphones. I have, I can't test that here because I don't have it modded yet, but um, I might film that, me modding it in a future video. Um, so I guess that's pretty much it. My real recommendation is get this balanced and put it onto a Yacht 2. Alright, see you guys later.
Thank you.